hello again welcome back to my channel i am grace annabelle in today's video i'm coming up with my buttermilk chicken recipe so here i have eight pieces of chicken drumstick one cup of all peppers flour i'll be using a teaspoon of mixed spice a teaspoon of smoked paprika a teaspoon of ground ginger a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of garlic granules, a teaspoon of vegetable seasoning, a teaspoon of basil, one fourth teaspoon of salt, 300 ml of butter milk, okay? So let's get started. To my chicken, I will add my vegetable seasoning, followed by the salt, next is the ground ginger, next garlic granules oregano um basil And then finally, the smoked paprika. I'll then toss this. Right, so after tossing that, I've realized that it didn't actually, the chicken didn't actually get coated, okay? So I'll go ahead and use my hand to massage this the spices into the chicken okay i want to infuse the um, spices into my chicken my gloves is far from me and so i am using sandwich bag okay all right so next i'll then add my buttermilk to this give this a good stir and then make sure that it is um, the chicken is actually coated, okay? Yes. Right, so at this point, I will then cover this with a clean film and chill this for an hour. So after an hour, my chicken is now ready to be fried. Right, so to my flour, I will add a teaspoon of the mixed spice. Combine this by giving it a good stir. Right, so at this point, using my kitchen tongue, I will take one chicken and then dip it in the flour. Flip it over and 
make sure that the whole chicken is coated in the flour. All right, so I'll put that on a separate plate. Then to pick the next one. I'll repeat the same process until I finish working on all the chicken drumstick. So while I am doing this, my oil is also on the fire. Make sure your oil is always hot before you fry your food. If not, whatever you are frying will get soaked, okay? And it will not taste nice. All right, so at this point, my oil is hot, so I will then put the chicken in the oil and fry this until it is golden brown. Right, so now I'll then flip this over or turn it upside down. Now my chicken is ready, so I'll get everything out from the oil into my paper lined colander. My buttermilk chicken is now ready to be served. It's so easy and simple as that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. I'll see you again in my next one. Bye-bye.